So typically what I do um, while I'm working uh, is if it's time for lunch, I'll take a quick break and make me like an, a quick and easy lunch. Um, I typically don't eat um, breakfast. I listen to my body. If I'm hungry, then I'll make breakfast. But a lot of times I, I don't get hungry uh, in the morning when I wake up. So I don't eat breakfast. I skip it. And I just, you know, go to the gym after. Or go to the gym and then after, you know, grab a coffee. And then come back home. And uh, get some work done. And uh, this is just uh, turkey meat. And I keep try to keep lunch meat or something on deck if I can think about it uh, to buy it when I go to the store because it's just easy for lunch, quick and easy meals to make. And I like to stack my sandwich so that I'm nice and satiated until dinner. And so there's that. You know, Harvati cheese is one of my favorites. And uh, it depends on how busy I am. I will eat lunch while I work on some of my projects and things that I have to get done. But for today, I'm just going to eat my lunch and uh, take a break from doing work. I don't have a lot of work today. So I'm going to take a break. I'll eat the rest for tomorrow's lunch. And then for my drink of choice, I'm having Crown Royal Peach Tea. It's a, a Canadian whiskey, a Canadian drink. by which we decide what is important in our hearts. The movies we watch, the music we hear, the books we read. The So I'm going to make a, a sandwich out of it. I just used bell peppers, uh, walnuts for texture, beef, and a couple slices of cheese. I used the steak and burger seasoning, famous Dave's steak and burger seasoning, and a little Worcester sauce. That burger seasoning, you don't need a lot. It is um, salty. You just need a little pinch to get... Uh, the flavor you're looking for. Unless you love salt, then have at it. Y'all see me, I, I barely, I don't ever salt my food if ever. So for me, um, using that, uh, a little bit of that burger seasoning is just perfect for me. Put a little mayo on. 
I'm talking about a little mayo. We're gonna put some mayo in this bread. We're gonna add a little bit of this concoction. It's nice and cooled off. And uh, this is gonna be good for several nights. <clears throat> I had to cook all the beef up because the expiration date was nearing and I didn't have room in the freezer. Mm, there it is. This first bite goes to you. Have that bite right there. How is it? Mm. Very good. That Worcester sauce really brings out the flavor of the meat. It's really nice. Mm. Mm. I mean, would you look at that? All those good flavors in there. You don't have to add walnuts. I did for texture and fiber purposes. Mmm. Mm. I get a lot of comments. Not a lot, but enough to bring it up. Of people just asking me, how do I deal with being lonely? Or aren't you lonely? No, I'm not. Um, I've always been... Like I've said in previous videos, a loner, state of myself, um, introverted. Mm. I get a lot of people saying, there's no way you're an introvert, you do YouTube. But just because I'm an introvert doesn't mean that I can't do YouTube. Um, it's easy to talk to you guys because I'm talking to you guys through a lens, right? Uh, in person, it's different. <laughs> it's really, really different. The combination of these walnuts and... Um, peppers and beef and Worcester sauce and just the seasoning I use. This is so good. You don't need a lot. So yeah, today was, um, to me, a productive day. You know, I got some stuff done. Uh, got my to-do to list, worked on my merch some more. You know, I got my audio book in. But that's what it looks like for, for someone like me who's alone. And I uh, live in a van. I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm pacing myself and just going, going, going through the day, just doing what I do. Mm. Because of the walnuts, I'm full. I literally can't do another sandwich. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I have many days where I'm lounging, pacing my day, you know, doing some work on the computer, chilling, listening to an audio book, having my lunch, relaxing, you know? It's not always high stress, go, go, go. But I do have those days where I'm pushing myself, going that extra mile to get things done. If you decide to do van life, do it at your pace. Make it work for you. Like I said, use me 
as a source of entertainment or what to do or what not to do if you decide that you want to do, you know, van life and live in a van or a car or an RV. I'm learning. It's it's only been six months. I'm I'm still a newbie. Hmm. That was a very fulfilling lunch or lunch <laughs> dinner. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. I'm gonna relax. Uh, probably do another audio book. I'm bouncing between two. Uh, the Think Like a Monk and a Day in the Life of a Min Minimalist. And those are the kind of the two audiobooks that I'm flipping between. Um, but I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, I hope you guys had a safe uh, new year. Um, I hope that, that the new year is starting off right for you. And I hope everything is going well with, well with you. Um, thank you for taking a little bit of your time to kind of chill with me, hang out, vibe out. I appreciate it more than you know. I'm out. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.